Today I'm going to be attempting to create a personalized doormat with a logo that I created with my Cricut machine. I picked up this cheap plain doormat from Ikea. This is the logo that I created. It was simple to create, but in the end not the best for this mat, which I will get into a little in, later in the video. I weeded out the areas that I wanted to be painted, and I used contact paper instead of transfer tape, which I found to be too sticky. I then picked up a couple small brushes from the dollar store. One foam brush and another one with tightly packed bristles. The tighter packed bristles are meant for stippling, which I found to be helpful, and ultimately the mat is just a little too difficult to get into all the nooks and crannies. Finally, some outdoor paint from a craft store. Make sure it's outdoor paint as regular acrylic wouldn't wear as well and it may transfer inside of the house with wet shoes. I took the mat and I found center horizontally and vertically and I used markers to indicate that to myself. I removed the backing from the logo and I measured with a straight line uh, on the logo to the edge to ensure that it was relatively level. I did as best as I could to burnish the vinyl on. Um, it's very easy to do this with a wood project, but when you have such a fibrous backing, it's difficult to get it to adhere properly. The other issue I came into with this is that smaller pieces can be super finicky, so try to use a larger font with less intricacy to save your sanity. The next little while is just you watching me struggle through this. There's no way to sugarcoat the fact that this was annoying and time consuming. If you have a better way to do this, I would absolutely love to hear it. I realized that a lot of the trouble that I was having uh, was that the contact paper would re-stick once I had pulled it away, so I grabbed a pair of scissors to cut away pieces that I pulled off. This helped immensely and I would strongly recommend it. I just couldn't find any way around just taking my time and trying to ensure that all of the small pieces stayed where they needed to, um, re-sticking them as I went. Um, and trying to make sure that they had a good stick on them. Finally, I will get to the very end of this where I have removed the contact paper stage. Once I felt everything was stuck down as well as it could be and I had readjusted all the small pieces, I took the paint and started to stipple it on. You want to make sure that you don't use too much paint or drag your brush because you could end up going underneath the letters and not getting a crisp edge, which is really what I was looking for. Just take your time and dab it on as best as you see fit. When I got to the very small pieces, I found that if I held on to the edge of them and painted around, I could keep them in place a little bit better. Again, just keep this struggle in mind when you're designing your own logo. After I felt like I had done a pretty good job of getting paint on, um, the bulk of the paint on as much as I could, I then found a small flat edge brush and I worked back into it, trying to make the edges crisp and touching up as I went along. I would take out the small letters as I went and while it wasn't the end of the world, the Christmas wasn't fully what I was after. Touching it up in the end did help a lot though, and overall I'm happy with the final product. Just keeping the changes in mind for next time. 